nice to see you, dear. You too, my love. Ageism is a huge issue in our society. I think it's one of the isms that's been left untouched. And I think it's really important that we focus on it and actually address it and speak about it and do something about it. There's a lot of research about the effects of ageism. A very recent study was commissioned by the World Health Organization and asked Cornell University to look at a series of studies with about 63,000 people involved and looked at intergenerational programs mixed with education and the effect it had on ageism. There was no question intergenerational programs really reduced ageism. Intergenerational programs are absolutely vital, especially as we have nuclear families and young people don't experience as many older people. And I think being able to put young people and older people together in educational settings is absolutely vital. It doesn't matter if it's a kindergarten, a primary school, a senior school or a university. When you put older people and younger people together, there are all sorts of things that happen. It's like magic. They suddenly realise there are some wonderful things about the older person and there's some wonderful things about the young person. I would like schools who are going to create a program like this to think outside the box. Rather than just copying what someone else is doing, they may come up with a different initiative because they're in a country area or they've got somebody in the school who's got a special skill that they can work with the young people. So I think not to have a prescription about it, but to have people who initiate, who invent, and get the excitement of the program. I think people who watch this ABC program will get excited and think outside the square.